Hey, what's going on guys? It's Blue here. I'm back with another com tech, it. tech it computer craft tutorial or computer craft tutorial. I'm just going to show you how to do an advanced lock before I show you a basic one. I'm just going to show you an advanced one now. So I'm just going to turn down my sound a little. Sorry about that. But, um, yeah, so, you know, just once again have a door next to your computer. Right or left doesn't matter. And um, just type in edit startup like we did last time. And with this advanced, um, sorry about that. What this advanced lock does is basically um, it adds a console factor to your lock. So you can add in a regular password that opens the door or a console password. Which lets you change the password at will whenever you want. Um, so here we go. Um, correct pass equals your password um, just use blue bra I was gonna put fable f mabel but okay whatever correct pass and then um hit enter type in development equals um in parentheses this is your console password so I'm just gonna put console 14 it could be anything you want um now to um you know skip a line type in a while true do like we did last time two spaces term dot clear term dot sent cursor sorry I can't type today hopefully I didn't type that in wrong type in right you know all the basic stuff that we did last time so I am not gonna say every line of code Um, read, parentheses, now you want to do the four spaces now, one, two, three, four, right, access, granted, then the redstone dot set output, right, and remember guys, when you're doing this, whatever side the door is to your computer, mine is to the right you're gonna put right and if it is to the left you're gonna put left true oops true then um you want to type in sleep how long you want your door to stay open so three how long my stay open for three seconds and um one two three four redstone that sets output right false so once again, what these three lines do basically says, um, oh yeah, I forgot, um, for the pass equals read, in between the parentheses, you want to put quotation marks, and then put the star symbol that is the shift 8 symbol, basically, and then put quotation marks again. And um, what this does, basically, if the if pass equals, oh, there, yeah, we, sorry guys, I'm messing up. So after the pass read, you want to hit enter again, two spaces. If pass equals equals correct pass, then, sorry, I forgot to do that before. And then type in all that. So basically, um, if the pass, if the person, what they type in is blue bra, then it will say access granted, which it writes access granted on the screen. Um, it sends a red a redstone output to the right for three seconds, and then ends the redstone output. Hit enter. Do two spaces. Type in. Now this is the new code of everything. Else, if pass equal equal development, then four spaces. Right. Console opened and now what we're doing here then is basically saying if you, the person types in the development password which for example ours is console 14 it will say console open now do four spaces again and just type in break now hit enter two spaces else one two three four spaces right access denied then do one two three four spaces again sleep for two seconds 
which um that's just gonna stay on the screen for two seconds then do two spaces type an end just hit enter again and type an end with no spaces so now what this else command says if they type in anything else but the development password or the correct pass they will get an access denied it will stay there for two seconds and then restart the program now um this is a um really um good code you know so you don't have to like retype in everything if you want to change your password so i'm just gonna save that and exit it and reboot my computer I'll show you that it all works and how it works um i did a typo i forgot to put a space but um let's say you make a typo right and you wanna you know edit your stuff just type in your console password mine was console 14 i think it says console opened type in edit startup and there you go you can you know edit your stuff now let's say i want to fix that typo come over here put the space save exit reboot and as you can see now there's a space in between enter and passcode so you know this is really handy as you can see the password does work for the door stays open for three seconds and that's basically it guys that's my advanced um, passcode with the console command so thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe um, if you want more tech tutorials or computer graph tutorials just message me and yeah once again, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you next time.